Hello, so we're on a different um, platform today. I am on my phone and um, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you the very basics of how to use the Behance app. Now, I'm Brandon and founder of Serenity Design. And basically what Behance is, is it's sort of like a social media platform, but for designers. Um, and it was made and is run by Adobe. So what we're going to do is we're going to head to the app here. Um, it's this blue app here. It's um, for free on iOS and Android. So we'll just let it load up here. So the interface is very simple and it's very similar to Facebook. So the three sections are as follows. The first is the top bit. So this is what we call um, well on Facebook stories, but this is, oh, it does actually have a name. Um, Oh, I've forgotten the name. <laughs> um, they are basically just um, your works in progress. I think that's what they're called. Um, but they're basically like stories. So you can see what designers are up to, see what they're doing. Um, you can swipe up and have a look at their stories. So you can see here and see what they're doing, um, see what others are doing. So this is kind of better than Instagram st or Facebook stories and Instagram stories. But that is the first section the second is the actual main feed so this these are a collection of people i'm following and um, people who i know people who know people that i'm following like you know it's sort of like a facebook or twitter feed and here as you can see the posts are very design centric they put focus on your actual design and i'm actually going to appreciate this because this is a gorgeous design I love these colors. You can click in, you can zoom, you can have a look. Um, now at the bottom here, you'll see a little selection of things and they are what you can do. So this blue one here is what we call appreciate. So it's basically a like if you're doing uh, Facebook references. This is where you can add it to a mood board. So I'm gonna add that to my portrait so you can create mood boards. So you can create mood boards for inspiration for a book title or inspiration for this things you like things you dislike things you may want to copy or in take inspiration from they're completely up to you um, the next one is the universal share button so you can just share it with people and this one is to actually follow the um, designer so at the top you can see a following button and then you can click their name and then you can see the designer wow this is very lovely. So as you can see, this is their profile. So the profile looks exactly like the feed, but it's just focusing on their work. You can swipe and see their about. So you can see how many times their projects have been viewed, how many times they've been appreciated, how many people they're following and how many people follow them. So obviously they're quite a big um, profile. They've been on here since 2009. So they've been on there for quite a while. Um, so that is the feed, but let's go on to the next tab. So this is a search button, so you can search for things. So you can search um, London, and it will show you um, London-based designs. Uh, the middle one, the middle button here, is to add a project. So you can add a work in progress. Yeah, it's, yeah I know it was called a work in progress. So you can add a work in progress, and you can add a project. So you can actually make a project in here. So you can add things from your pictures. So I can take a photograph. Hello. <laughs> um, you can do a video. Or you can add an actual file from here. Um, you can add text. You can edit text here. Um, you can add code if you want to embed something from a website. Um, I'm not going to save this because I don't have a project to upload at the moment. So here is your notification center. So you can see how many people have appreciated your work. Um, and, then when you, and then this is your profile. So I've only just started my profile. I did have an old one, but I can't access it. So I've been uploading all of my work onto here. Um, so if you want to follow me, feel free. <laughs> um, so here I've got work and about. So this is how many projects I've been thing, my followers following. Um, this is my about page i've got my website here so you can add your own website um 
this is the focus that I focus on. So branding, graphic design, and print design. Um, you can swipe over, and these are my mood boards. These are the portraits that I've saved. Um, these are my designs that I think are amazing. Um, and then last but not least, these are the pictures that I have liked. So these are the things that I've liked. So that is basically how you use the um, user interface of Behance. Obviously, there's other things like settings, but these are very um, self-explanatory. Um, up here, you can edit your profile here. Um, so I can change my occupation, I can change my name, my design, website, whatever. You don't have to have a website, by the way. It's just an option. Um, and that is it. So I'm going to wrap up this tutorial. Um, if you have anything, um, any questions or any recommendations that you want to see in future videos, please feel free to comment below. Um, if you want to see future tutorials, um, I've got some tutorials about um, Lightroom and I've got some other tutorials um, that will be popping up on the channel very soon. If you want to be notified about those, then make sure you subscribe and you click the little bell button. Um, but that's it for me today. I hope you have a really good day and I'm going to make a tea and I will go back to work. So thank you very much for um, watching today.